Hello, folks. This is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility with the Ed Brown Special Forces 1911. Um, I must be honest, other than maybe back in the 80s, I haven't shot a, an Ed Brown pistol for that long. This is a beauty. Um, the, even though this is plain Jane, as they might call it, being a combat pistol, is a beautifully made pistol with details that really enhance the pistol from all the corners and everything, like around the ejection port, everything is beveled and nice and clean. Um, nice serrations in the rear only, doesn't have front cocking serrations. The rear sight is a Heine, it looks like a Heine rear sight. Front sight is a Trigicon, uh, tritium uh, front sight with an orange donut around it. Nice aluminum trigger. I mean, the stippling on the uh, mainspring housing is this little divots. They look like little holes in it, but I don't know how to describe it. The grips are just about perfect. They are G10s. They're, one thing I don't like about it is that it has Allen screws, and I don't like that. I like to have normal flathead screws. If this was my pistol, I would remove those and put flatheads that I can find a flathead screwdriver any place. If you if these come loose, uh, you're screwed because you need a Allen wrench to tighten them back up. So other than that, in general, the pistol, the trigger pull is pretty smooth, but it's still combat quality trigger pull. And we're going to be using um, these are lead bullets. Basically, these are um, Lawman. Uh, Spear Lawman 230 grain flat nose 230 like I said 230 grain lead so let's see it's gonna be smoky okay so get ready I'm gonna do my no I didn't oh type one malfunction tap roll rack oh this didn't like the first round so let's go ahead and do it Oh, look at this. It's a type 2 malfunction for the first time. Tap, roll. Oh, it was the last round. Huh. Interesting malfunction. It really, it was a live round, but it flipped out of the magazine. Let's go ahead and put it in and shoot it. Wonder why that happened. Now it worked. I'm gonna put that to the magazine, not the gun. These magazines are just your standard fare, um, steel lip magazines, I mean, steel follower magazines. They are not something that you can take apart from the bottom or anything like that. You have to remove everything from the top. So I don't know if these are the best magazines out there, but I think that the pistol is shooting fantastic. Okay, this one didn't have any kind of stoppage. So all I can see, I shot 14 rounds. One is out of the target. The rest of them are pretty dang good for the first time I ever shot this pistol. I said, it's the quality is it, the fact that in the first round, this pistol is brand new, by the way. This pistol is not mine, it's a loaner. So I borrowed it just for this shoot, but it was brand new. I'm the first person to shoot this pistol right out of the box. Yeah, it had a stoppage, which I, again, I am gonna put the stoppage to the magazines, not to the pistol. And the rounds, you can see it here, it's a flat nose, it doesn't have a round nose, it's a flat nose um, um, 1911. It's gonna shoot, I gotta shoot four more rounds here just to you know, what the heck, you know? Right, Dave, should I shoot him? Absolutely. Let's go shoot him. I'm gonna in go- In the dark. Okay, Dave wants me to shoot this in the dark. So here is four rounds in the dark. And let me tell you, with only this light here, I can see that donut 
bright as daylight. And these loads are flamers. They're like a flamethrower. Boy, you can actually feel this, actually recoil. Gosh. So my opinion on this pistol is like any Ed Brown pistol is high end, okay? This is top notch. Thanks, Ugh, now I'm blind. Um, I'm choking in smoke too. Um, this is a great pistol for the, for the for the price course, it's a custom pistol from, nine, from Ed Brown. Marty and I talk about this pistol in our video about uh, custom 1911s, chapter one. We're gonna be talking a lot about custom 1911s, but my first opinion on this pistol is very positive. I'm gonna shoot it a little more, I'm gonna take it out to the range, outdoors, and shoot steel with it, and see how we like it, but uh, so far, this pistol is performing really well. Of course, it's 45 ACP and it has recoil. I'm gonna try some of my uh, weak wussy loads that I made at home and see how it feels. But other than that, great pistol. So guys, thanks for watching. And like always, please, first of all, share this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And like always, please remain healthy, stay safe and definitely have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.